Busy Blossoms Limited Liability Corporation, located at 60 Barrett Drive. Forget the tax number, I'm not going to reread that. The applicant is appearing before the Village Board, Village of Webster Zoning Board of Appeals, for approval of a special use permit to Village Code 17526C and 17542A, if you're interested, to operate a daycare and or nursery in that zone, which is a West End Business District. So, Jessica, why don't you tell us what you want to do, answer any questions from the board, and we'll see if you have any questions for us. Okay. Good evening, everybody. My name is Jessica Bain. Um, my maiden name is Proietti, and I grew up in Webster. My kids currently go to Webster School District. One is at Thomas, one is at Whaling, and the other two were too young to be at school yet. <laughs> Um, I am planning to open the facility hopefully next month and we will have 11 classrooms. Um, we're also putting in a gross motor room, sensory room, sick room, director's office, kitchen, um, as I stated in my application. So obviously there is a child care crisis so we are trying to help with that. I've um, been in child care for 24 years um, as well as other you know, businesses. So I have business experience as well as medical um, behind that. Um, I am really excited about this project, as you guys probably read in my review. We're uh, working to get a partnership with Webster School District for their UPK program. It's um, currently in the works. We're doing an RFP, which is a request for proposal to work with the state and with Webster School District. What is UPK? Universal Pre-Kindergarten. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> okay. Questions by any member from the board on what you've had in front of you? Um, there's a couple of things going on here. Number one, it's, it's the special use permit. And number two, there's a uh, there's no mention of it in the actual scheduled matter, but there's a playground going in. Is that in any way part of this matter. Part of the proposal, yeah. It is part of their proposal. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's just a little playground on the southwest side where that land is. And are we doing anything that will require a variance or anything in there that for, for the playground? In other words, are we taking away parking spaces or something like that? No. Okay. It complies with the requirements. No modifications, site plan, site plan approvals. We're not doing anything to the exterior of the building. Okay. They're Perfect. Modifying, they're adding something to the property. A playground. Mm -hmm. It's a modification. I didn't quite understand where that is, but as you just said, it's on either side of that ramp that leads up to there. Correct. Business. If you're I'm looking at that building over ramp, it's on the left side of that road grass here. Can you tell us where you're putting the board, or where your desire is to place the playground? Sure. Um, so our main entrance is on the east side, next to the Rochester Regional Lab. When you go into that main entrance, we will go up the stairs, and that's where my main entrance would be. Okay. Uh, if you go to the south side of the building, there's a ramp that goes up, and then a ramp that goes down towards Virgin Care. The ramp that goes up would be another entrance and exit for our building. So that's where we would take the kids out on the ramp and it would come down and drop into a landing pad so it's completely handicap accessible. And the playground itself would be fully fenced, four foot fencing all the way around. So when the kids come out, they never have access to the parking lot. It goes directly into the playground area. So it's going to be that grassy area on the south side of the building. The southwest. And, you, have a, and you set a four foot fence. Okay, my, my one, my, my concern on that, or, or hope, you're going to have this thing, I mean, we're talking about young children who are going to be on it on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. It's going to be out there, are we going to have this inspected, and some kind of a report given to you on some periodic basis. That's, and by the way, 30 plus year experience in health and safety, so I, I know where I'm going with this, 
that's my concern when I look at this, was are you going to have something done to the playground? Because I've seen playgrounds, I've had a bunch of kids myself, where they've been broken or not maintained. Are you going to maintain it? Yes. So it's Bears Playground. They're local. Um, their equipment is very, very sturdy. They also come out and replace it. Um, and I'm also putting in bounce board underneath the playground, which if you have seen bounce board, it's actually interlocking tiles. They're about 20 inches by 20 inches. And if you fall from some sort of height, you don't get hurt, which is why it's fantastic. I actually have it at my home um, for my children. <laughs> So it's very, very safe. It prevents a lot of broken bones, but we aren't having a swing set, so the kids aren't going to be swinging back and forth where they're going to be at extreme heights. Everything's much lower to the ground. The playground itself will have an area that's for younger children and then for older children, so we're also separating them by age to ensure the safety of the children. And if you got some kind of a report from your inspection that said there was an error somewhere along the lines with it, I would absolutely fix it for you. And would you prevent the children from going on there until it was done? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, getting, uh, adding to the inspection, once this is built, it will be inspected, and what government uh, entity will do that? So we have a very strict regulation that we have to go through the Office of Children and Family Services, which is OCFS. It's um, a New York State? Uh, yes. Um, they also have a fire marshal that they send out as well as an inspector and we would have a registrar that we would go through mm -hmm. and they come out every year um, multiple times a year to make sure that everything is safe and mm -hmm. it's a very lengthy packet that we have to abide by um, I'm more than happy to do that with them <laughs> if it's not unreasonable it is safety of the children and mm -hmm. like I said two of my kids will be going there so I, you know, it's personal and professional, and I would never want another child to get hurt, obviously. Right. And Chris, you're, you would work with that, that inspection team, New York State inspection team? I would imagine they'll send us a report, but uh, okay. myself and the fire marshal, I would imagine, are going to be doing your, your, your inspections okay. as well. Okay, good. Yeah. And you said you, you've uh, been in child care for 23 years. Have you ever... Uh, had a, uh, a child care business? Um, I have my in home currently, okay. yes. Right. And then I also nannied for a period. I did like babysitting when I was younger as well. Sure. Okay. And how many uh, children do you think this place will uh, hold? So, according to OCFS regulations, um, so we have very strict regulations on how many children we can have, what the ratios are, and everything like that. So, based on the sizes of the rooms, and there, our current space that we would be putting in, it would hold 153 kids. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that is, that's good. It is. Um, so 63 of them would be from the school district for the UPK program because we have three classes for that, and then the rest would be from the community. Okay. Right. Now, uh, good. I'm good. <laughs> it's a, it sounds like an amazing setup. And what you're going to offer for the kids. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. Will this be monitored? Video? Yes. Um, I'm using Land Tech Services. Um, so okay. they have live cameras that would stream directly to the director's office and to myself. And it's 24 hour live feed. It's okay. full color, full sound, which no other daycare uh, does that for both <laughs> of those. Um, my husband is a police officer, actually, so I am very big on safety. Okay. <laughs> so okay. um, I'm very excited about it. That um, if there is an issue, not only will the parents be able to see it with us, but then they can hear what happened, what led up to it, what did the teachers do? Because on black and white cameras that don't have sound, it doesn't always resonate how it was, you know, fixed. Okay. So okay. that was really important to me. And that'll include the uh, playground also, right? One hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> Good. Other questions by anyone from the board? Do you have any questions for us in particular? Not at this time. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, I want to open this up to anyone who has any comments for or against this. Either way, just to tell your name uh, and your address and 
Tell us what you think. All right. Let that show that no one presented themselves to speak for or against that. I'll close that portion. Thank you very much. Any questions? Uh, I, th I, think it, I think we've had most of our questions answered. Um, the application was extensive, so I think yeah. most everything was brought up already. And Karen, I like all the background that you've been giving us. It's, it's very <laughs> yeah, helpful. Very helpful. <laughs> Okay, then let me close that portion and ask if we have a more. Uh, do we have? Do we have to do a seeker yep. on this? How much you use? It's, it's type two. This is type two. Okay, so we get a motion to declare this as a type two seeker issue. I'll make that motion. We've got a motion. All in favor? Second. I'll second. Seconded. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. Aye. Opposed? None. By the way, seeker is the state environmental quality review or something like that, but it essentially says your issue is not having a significant impact to the environment oh. by calling it. So. Okay, so we've put it down as type two. Now what we're looking for is a motion from someone on the board, if we have any out there, to either approve or deny it. Well, then I'll make a motion for the approval of a special permit use for the daycare center. Okay, we've got a motion on the floor to approve the special use permit for the nursery. Seconded? Second. Seconded. All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None. Good luck with it. Thank you so much. I hope it goes well for you. I hope so too. All right. Thank well, did you. Did you say this was going to Thank you. Start? It's not open yet. I know, but uh, what's your timeline? Oh, we're hoping mid to late October. Mid to late October, okay. Yes. Wow, that's coming up. That's yes. aggressive. Good job. Thank yeah. you. All right, thanks. <laughs>